All right, everybody, we're going to take a look at um, this activity right here. Uh, we're making a, a block that uh, that we're going to use to make holes in it. Um, I'm going to edit my appearance here for just a second. All right, so this is what your block would start looking like. Um, I did turn off, I'll turn them back on for right now, but I turned off the planes here. Um, so I started with a block. Um, I know you know how to make a block, so I'm going to let you do that. But I did uh, make it symmetrical um, when I did the extrusion instead of doing a, a blind um, extrusion. So you may want to make it symmetrical because there's a really simple way uh, to use that. Um, so now I'm actually going to turn the, the top and the right planes off because I'm going to use, we'll see where that front plane is slicing right through the middle of the block. I'm going to use that to my advantage when I'm making the points for the holes. All right, so now what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm just checking something real quick. All right, um, is I'm going to sketch um, uh, a new sketch on this top surface. And when I sketch on that top surface, I can hit N, and that'll bring my um, view normal to the sketch plane. And I want to make a series of points. We're going to make five of them um, on here to make five different holes. I'll make a series of five points on right along the middle here. In order to do that, I first need to, uh, well, I can make points. I can use the point tool, but what's actually going to be easier is if I use this line tool, because then I can um, make all these um, points equal, equidistant. So I'm going to draw this out. And I should mention here, uh, let's see, I'm going to do one, two. The third one actually would be right in the middle. So there's three, four, five, and then I need to go to the end here just to keep everything straight. Okay, so um, you can tell all those points are definitely not equidistant from each other. The other thing I need to mention is I've already changed my workspace units prior to doing any work to millimeters, so you may need to double check that you've done that um, before you get moving, especially with any dimensioning. Um, all right, so now what I want to do is I want to make all of these lines, all these points equidistant from each other. And so I actually am going to select every single line that I just created. Five, six. All right, and I'm going to go to, ah, I finished the sketch. Shoot. All right, so sorry about that. I need to get out of here, go back into the sketch. I don't know why I finished it. Um, I'm going to select every line. So that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I want to make them equidistant so that they're all going to be equal in length. That's going to be the equal um, constraint. That constraint is found in your sketch tools if you're on the iPad um, towards the bottom. So if I hit equals, then all of those points are going to be now equidistant from each other, which is going to be fantastic. So now I have everything set up the way I need to. I'm going to hit check mark because all you need to make a hole is a point. All right, the point exactly where it's supposed to be relative to everything else. All right, so now what I'm going to do, um, oh, and by the way, when I made those equidistant, um, that allowed it to be 20 millimeters. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the hole. Okay, so this is a 3D feature. So you find your 3D menu, find the hole feature, and this will come up. Um, your first type of hole is a simple hole, simple through hole. So if I click on a point where I want to make that hole, um, right now it says it's a six millimeter hole. And since I chose a through hole, it's going all the way through. So it goes all the way through to the other side, right? And if I want to see that in, in even more detail, if I right click on, um, actually I have to, well, I'm going to have to confirm this thing that I'm doing first, and then I can show you this. But that hole is going all the way through. Now, if I change this and I make it, instead of a through hole, if I make a blind hole, okay, well, now it's only going to a certain depth, and that depth is given right here. So we have a six millimeter diameter hole, and then it's 15 millimeters deep. All right, so I'll just check mark on that. And now I'm going to, now that I got out of that, I'm gonna right click on this solid. I'm gonna to go to um, edit appearance for part one. All right, and that's going to be in your double tap uh, menu on your iPad. And I'm going to bring the transparency down so I can see that hole. 
All right, so I, I can actually see that hole going through there, which is cool. All right, now um, I use Sketch 2, but I want to use Sketch 2 for all my holes. So now I need to turn that back on so I can see it. So I, I made it viewable. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another hole right here. All right, and this hole is going to be a counter sink or counter bore. We'll do counter bore. It's next in the line. Counter bore is where you basically have like a, a screw that has a, a perfectly flat um, top, you know, like a cylindrical top, if you will. And then uh, it goes deeper into the object. Um, notice this one is also a 15 millimeter overall depth for the hole, but it's not 15 millimeters from where the counter bore ends. It's 15 millimeters from the top surface. Um, so I have all these things the same. Maybe I, you know, let's change that to 30. All right, and so now I have one that's going 30 deep. Um, it has a six millimeter uh, hole, a 13 millimeter counter bore. So this little cylinder at the top that allows the, the, the machine screw or the bolt to go in um, and be like either underneath the surface of the block that I'm creating or exactly flush with it. Um, I have a six millimeter depth as far as the counter bore, uh, how far down it goes. And then again, a 30 millimeter overall. All right, so there's a counter bore. And then you have a counter sink hole. So I'm gonna select the hole tool once more, click the point that I wanna do. Counter sink hole is this type where it's got kind of a tapered angle there. I can change that angle. You now maybe I made it 48 degrees, I'm gonna make it a really steep uh, sort of angle there. Um, I could just make it back to 82. 82 is kind of your typical um, uh, angle for, for those two. Um, okay, and again, I can change all of these things, the, the width of the hole, the width of the counter sink, the angle of the counter sink, and then of course the overall um, depth. And I could have a counter sink that is through, all right? So it's going all the way through and it's a counter sink type. All right, I might do that if I'm trying to attach two pieces to, together. I need this to go down through this piece into the next piece. Okay, um, at this point, that's really all the different types of holes uh, that you have. So um, see if you can make that block that I assigned to you uh, with this information. I hope it helps.